Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're making prawn curry today. This is my dad's recipe. Uh, it's very spicy, it's very delicious. You guys need to try it for sure. But if you don't like spice, um, I recommend you don't add as much as we do. So you want to cook your ginger and garlic on medium flame for about five to six minutes until it's nice and golden. You don't want it to get burnt, so make sure you don't burn it, otherwise you'll have a, a sour taste at the end. And then you add in your finely chopped tomatoes. Stir, stir, stir. You want it to be really smooth, so you don't want it to be lumpy and have bits in there. So we cook this for about five minutes on high flame adding water so about one tablespoon water here and there so the um, the masala doesn't actually burn or stick to the pan and then we added the masalas the spices and all and um, once we added the uh, spices he let that cook for about 10 minutes Once that was all cooked, he added the prawns. And you don't want to overcook the prawns, so make sure that there's um, water in the curry. So once you've like, you know, added your spice and stuff, just add a little bit of water so that it doesn't stick and get too thick because it has a lot of tomatoes. When you start to see that the oil comes out of the curry, um, that's when you know that it's you know the curry is cooked. But you don't you want to make sure that your prawns are also cooked. So you can just add a little bit of water. Once you can see that the oil is coming through, that's when you know it's exactly like it's cooked. It's done. Then you want to garnish it, and we garnished it with coriander, garlic, and some chilies and some spring onions. And there you go, it's done. And we had it with some naan, you can have it with rice, you can have it with roti, you can have it with whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.